How did you get into acting? I was about 18. It was my first real job. And it was a very unusual job because I was working in the box office of the Old Vic Theatre. Then not only did I get to see an awful lot of plays, but I also met the actors and I was able to sneak in to rehearsals in the theatre quite illegally. And I became fascinated by the work of the theatre. What in particular fascinated you? But the thing that fascinated me, as I said, was when I was in rehearsals, it was this, the work of the theatre, the sort of work it was. So I stand at the back of the Ulvik Theatre when the actors were rehearsing. But mostly it consisted of people sitting rather glumly about saying, well, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make this scene work. I don't understand my character. And the director would try to help them to understand the character or suggest a move here or a move there. Or maybe they'd try walking in a different way or putting on a different hat. And bit by bit, it started to fall into place. And I thought, what a wonderful job. Fantastic, interesting job to wrestle with these kinds of problems, trying to understand the characters, trying to find out how best to express them and show them off. So I, I came to acting very much from that point of view. The role that first made you famous as a young actor was playing Mozart in the original theatre production of Amadeus, which later went on to become a film. What was the most challenging thing about playing the part of Mozart? What was a challenge was that Mozart was a person who'd actually lived and was indeed one of the greatest artistic geniuses of the whole of Western civilization. And I was a great lover and admirer of Mozart's music. So there was a tremendous uh, challenge to bridge the character that Peter Schaffer had written, and Peter Schaffer knows all about Mozart as he could, so that Mozart was, was uh, a sort of a, a smutty, uh, a hysterical child, really, uh, in a lot of the play. My job was to reconcile that with the fact that he wrote The Manager of Figaro, and that was tremendously hard. Was Mozart one of your most satisfying roles? No, I wouldn't say that that was the most satisfying. It was the most exciting, because it, its fame, uh, f almost from the moment it was announced, was overwhelmingly greater than anything I had ever done, or, to be honest, ever have done since. The fact that the play was very, very controversial when it opened proved to be uh, very uh, um, shocking for many people, only increased the excitement around it. And... It was uh, astonishing to look out into the auditorium every night and to see Paul Red Newman or, 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 or Robert Redford or, or, or Arva Gardner or, or Margaret Thatcher sitting out there because everybody had to see that play.